Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 in our photo mode series. In the last episode we set up the ability to see our camera roll in the game, but now we need to focus on getting that picture out of the game into our saved pictures folders. So in this episode we're going to go through just that. We're going to show you how we can click on an item in our camera roll to export that camera picture out into our computer so we can then use it for whatever we want. So let's get started and jump straight in. So to get started, we're going to take a look at our UI that we've got set up so far in our photo mode. And we're looking at our photo gallery in particular. And on here, we need to, when we display this, we need to change our input mode to allow us to click on and select the various different pictures that you see on the screen. So on the graph of this, we're going to go to the construct event. And when this is constructed, we're going to get the player controller and simply just change the way we input from the player controller. So we're going to do set input mode to UI only. And we want it to then turn on the mouse cursor so we can select and see what one we're selecting. So we're going to do set show mouse cursor and we're going to turn it to be true. Let's plug that in there like so. Okay, and when we do go to UI mode, tab will no longer work for us to close the gallery. We do need to set up a button on the screen somewhere to allow us to close the gallery and return to the game. So let's go to the designer view on here and set up a button for us on here. So let's create a new button, very simple one in our cameras panel here. And I'll put mine in the bottom corner. And I'm just going to bring this open nice and big. And let's give it a little bit of uh, padding around the edges. So we'll do like 50, oops, sorry, minus 50, sorry. And 50. Minus 50. And in there, we'll put some text to tell the player what's actually going on with this button. This text, simply, all it's going to say is uh, close gallery. Okay. And let's make that. Nice dark color. And all I want to do here is set up the button here to close down the widget. So let's go on to here and do on click event. And when this happens, we're going to do remove from parent. And when we do that, we need to set the input mode back to how we had it before. So not using UI mode anymore, but using the game mode. So let's take the get player controller. And we're going to tell it to go and set its input mode to game only. Okay, and then we want to tell it to hide the mouse cursor. So do set show mouse cursor. And I'm going to leave that false. Okay, let's see how that looks in game. So hit play and go to camera mode, take a picture, go to gallery. And now I can use my mouse to select this picture here or close the gallery and return to the game. Take another picture. And I can go back to the gallery, close the gallery, and return back to the game. Pretty good. Okay, so all we've got left to do then is make it so that we can select a particular photo itself and save it. So what first we're going to do is function on the functionality of it. So we're going to make it so we can click the uh, the picture it's going to save the image without having to check with the player first of all whether or not they actually want to save it we're just going to go ahead and just save it for the player anyway um, but later on we'll put in some error checks and some dialogue boxes for the player to just confirm their choice and make sure they know what they're doing and that's mostly regarded as good practice because we don't want to flood the computer or hard drive in particular with images that the player doesn't actually want so when we go on to our photo uh, individual photo here it is um, we need to tell this thing uh, to be a button so let's right click on this and wrap with a button and then tell the contents of that to stretch across the whole width and tell it have no padding yeah um, and on this button we do an on clicked event so we then want to take out our photo texture Yep, yeah. and then we're going to do export to, uh, not sorry, export to, just export render target, and that's the one we want. And on here, we need to give it a file path and a file name. Now, the file path here, I'm just going to simply just drag out and do get path directory. 
and you'll see get part of uh, get project saved directory there so search for get project saved directory that will go into the saved folder same with the save games and things like that then for the file name we're going to drag this out and do append and in b it's going to be our dot png so we're going to do dot png and the name is going to go into a and it's totally up to you what you want to call it and this could be something dynamic that you have changing all the time uh, something to do with time maybe or uh, user id whatever it may be i'm going to put in here and call this one test photo and hit compile so when we're doing this we are actually exporting as a png now by default the render target saving as a hdr so we need to change that to support png now to do that we have to go onto our camera itself and go to where we create the render target 2d and in there you see format we need to change this to be the rtf rgba8 that basically means it's going to be uh, 8 bits per channel in rgb and a which is a png we need this one next we need to tell our scene capture component over here we're going to scroll that down and tell this to capture it in the png format too so capture source change it from scene color hdr which we don't want and instead we're going to use final color ldr in rgb and hit compile and save this so let's test this out and see how this turns out so go into camera mode see take a picture go into my thing you may see already it's a little bit darker now let me show you the final product i'm gonna click on here and close the gallery and come out of there and this is the photo that got uh, saved by the game as you can see it's very dark and this is because we're not using hdr so we need to tell this to change the gamma settings on our render target so how we do that is we go to our photo camera and we're going to take this return value here and we're going to do set target gamma now this may take a bit of fine tuning to get it just right for your look um but i'm going to start off with the number two and see how that turns out so we'll go back in push play and see again take a picture as you can see it's a lot brighter now on the screen uh which is good we'll click on here and look at the new photo and it's a lot lot clearer a lot more like what we see in game and that is now stored in our save folder here and the test photo okay and this is where they will all go in this case but you can put in whatever path name you want and it's totally up to you um you can even put something that's local to the the game's install file up to you uh but there you go and there we have it the end of part four of our photo mode in the next part and the last part of the series we're going to go through filters and how you can apply filters to your uh, camera shots and export these filters onto your pictures that you've taken you can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash ryan laley we catch all my videos early before everyone else I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. I really mean it. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.